Baruch the Yahawa, Barakatha, Yahosha, Baruch the Yahawa, Barakatha, Yahosha, Ba Hashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Rakakwadash, Lord Will, you are edified. This is an example of the Rakakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit, which is having spiritual power. Video was inspired by a show on Netflix called Supercell. And this show is based in South London about five Jakes that receive spiritual power. My recommendation, a must watch. Now, these five Jakes had a trait of sickle cell. And because of this trait, a cell was mutated and therefore they received spiritual power at the allotted time. They were able to manipulate the elements. Okay? And if you can receive this, having the ability to prophesy is a form of spiritual power. How do I know? A lot of times when I'm tired, okay, based on prophesying, after camp, I feel very exhausted, extremely tired, ready to go home and sit down slash chill or even go to sleep. On this show, you had one Jake, after he had exercised, his spiritual power, he was very exhausted. His son was knocking on the door and the Jake was sleeping on the couch and never heard his son knocking on the door. His son was calling his cell phone and he never heard the phone ring because he was exhausted. Another scene on this show, you had the other four Jakes that had used their spiritual power. Once they returned to their safe haven, all of them passed out. They were extremely exhausted. This is the connection that having spiritual power is being able to prophesy as well and from a physical standpoint, being able to manipulate the elements. Let's go to the book of Judges, chapter 13. And verse 24, and the woman bare a son and called his name Samson, and the boy grew, and Yahweh blessed him, and the spirit of Yahweh began to move him at times in the camp of Dan between Zorah and Estuol. Let's focus on spirit. According to the Hebrew, which is Strong's H7307 pronounced Ra Wa Ka, right? And according to G1, as inspiring ecstatic state of prophecy, being able to prophesy in an ecstatic state, okay? Which means what? Overwhelming happiness or or 
joyful excitement, ecstatic. Also, as impelling prophet to utter instruction or warning, imparting warlike energy and, and executive and administrative power, such as Samson, such as King David, and also the mighty men that were with King David, as well as Shahawashai. And what about the great Acts? Okay, in the book of Acts, all of these are examples of having the Holy Spirit as endowing men with various gifts, being able to prophesy, being able to speak in tongues. Okay. And the reason why these Jakes became so extremely exhausted is because they remained in the flesh. And therefore, the flesh cannot contain this type of power. And that's the reason why myself, as well as other prophets, okay, once leaving camp are extremely exhausted. It's because of this weak-ass flesh we are in cannot contain the Holy Spirit, okay? And that's why you want to go home and go straight to sleep or just chill or lay down or sit down because of that glory Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has endowed on us. Let's go to Acts second chapter. Now the apostles received instructions from Yahweh Shah, and these are the instructions. Acts 21, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. The what? Rakakwadash. Okay, so again, when we go to the book of Judges, right? Back into chapter 13, focusing on the same word for spirit, Strong's 87307. What did it have? Wind, wind, breath, mind, spirit. Key point wind. Now, what the scripture states in Acts chapter 2 and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it set on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Verse 7, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Gal Gal Galileans, Galileans, Salakia, Galileans, Salakia, Galileans, okay? But the point is that they were able to speak, okay, in various languages because of the Holy Spirit. And back in Judges, Chapter 13. For spirit, you have another definition as endowing men with various gifts, being able to do what? Speak in different languages, prophesying in different languages, as well as manipulating elements.
Okay, last precept. Let's go to Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See you, do it not. I am your fellow servant and of your brethren that have the testimony of Yahushua. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahushua is the spirit of prophecy, which is the Holy Spirit. Okay, so if you have individuals that are able to prophesy, this is an indicator. An indicator goes into the origin of indicate, which means to point out that this person or these persons or these prophets have the Holy Spirit. I know I said one more, but let's go to John 14. And verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And this is Yahweh speaking. Okay. And how does Yahweh come to us via the Spirit? Lord, will you were edified? Shalom.